big haul to share today. I actually am splitting my haul into several videos that will be uploading over the next couple weeks. So just this week, I got back from Japan. My husband and I went on a trip for five weeks, and while we were there, we bought a ton, ton, ton of stuff, a lot of art books, merch, manga. So I'm planning to share most of what we brought back with us, but I feel like it would be like a four hour video if I just <laughs> tried to go over everything in one sitting. So in this video, I'm gonna share all of the art books, fan books, guidebooks, and doujinshi that we picked up while we were in Japan. And there's quite a bit of it. I just in front of me have one, two, three, four, and then off screen over here, five piles of art books and doujinshi. So I'm gonna go through all of this. And then the next couple of videos will have footage from an art exhibition that I went to, as well as my haul from that, a haul video of all the merch that I picked up, and then a haul video of all the manga that I bought. So hope you will all really enjoy my Japan haul series that I've got going on this month. But for this video, I will have timestamps below, so feel free to use those to skip around if you want to. I'm mainly gonna share the things that I bought for myself and then a few of the things that my husband also bought. And I'm gonna start with mostly art books that are like official art books. And then after I go through all of those, art books, guidebooks, and fan books, then I'm gonna go through self-published Dijinshi and just fan-made or self-published fan books. So I'm gonna start with Bungo Stray Dogs. I got an illustration book and a guide. So the illustration book, I did just recently get the two anime art books. And this is actually the illustration book by the artist for the manga. So it's in the manga art style. And I didn't know about this until recently. And as soon as I found out about it, I knew I was gonna have to get it. And I'm really happy that I found it on my trip. I also just recently found out about this. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a character guide, but it is organized where it goes through and talks about the different characters in the series. And it talks about the author that the character is based off of. So obviously it's in Japanese, so I can't read it without the aid of a translator app. But this was something that I knew I needed to have. I'm probably going to go through and start with some of my favorite characters and just read some of the notes about the characters and the authors that they're based on. So I'm really looking forward to going through this one. Okay, next for the series Haikyuu, I got three really mini anime guidebooks and an art book. So I do already have the large Haikyuu art book that was recently released in English. And I did know that a lot of the art in this smaller art book that was released earlier, a lot of this artwork is in the bigger art book. And so that's why I hadn't gotten it up to now. I was thinking, I have access to the art in the bigger art book, so I don't need it, but I saw this on the shelf at the bookstore and I just thought, I'll just get it. Then that way I can have both of the art books in my collection. And then these three guidebooks, they are labeled one, two, and three. I'm not sure if there are any more or if there are more to come, but they're TV anime guidebooks, and I think that they focus the first one on Karasuno, and then the second one on these two teams, and then the third one on these three teams. So I'd love if they continued putting these out with a volume four to focus on a few more of the teams that were not featured in these ones. But for the first one... I love stuff like this. So, and each one has a little poster. 
little mini poster in the front, so. Excited to have these ones now. And then a couple more things from Sport Series. So the next one is from Skate the Infinity, the official guidebook. So this has been on my radar and I wanted to eventually get it. I just hadn't added it to any of my orders yet, but this is an anime series about skateboarding that I do like quite a lot. Came with this little print that has the same illustration as the cover. But I wanted to get this because I do like this series and I don't have anything in my collection right now. Well, now I do, but <laughs> I didn't have anything in my collection for skate, so I'm happy that I found this and picked it up. And usually with the guidebooks, they'll have a section about the voice actors with interviews, but I love like the character pages. I just really like <laughs> to see like the different ankles and the different clothing and I like Joe. <laughs> but so I'm excited to have this one. And then another sports series that I didn't have represented in my collection that I really like is Yuri on Ice. And I knew that Yuri on Ice does have a lot of official books and I just hadn't taken the time to go through and do my research. But when I found this guidebook, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pick up this guidebook and that'll be what I have for now because I know that there are a ton of books that are like key animation books where it has like the drawings for the anime with the shading and just the different, different colors on it. So this one does have two posters but similar to the other one, it has character pages, interviews with the voice actors. I really like this series, which is about figure skating. A lot of Japanese text, so I'm just gonna be mainly enjoying the illustrations inside and then Probably just like the other ones, starting with my favorite characters and just going through and reading little bits at a time. So happy to have this one. Next is Sword Art Online. This is our third Sword Art Online art book, New World. So the two other ones that we have, one is in Japanese and one is in English. And this one isn't available in English yet. I don't know if it will in the future get translated, but we just wanted to pick it up because this is a series that we do like quite a bit. But just like the others, it just has a lot of nice illustrations with captions. And because this is the Japanese one, the captions are in Japanese. But excited to have this one. I think there is some content in this one that we haven't watched yet because we are a little bit behind with the latest couple of releases, but either way, knew we were gonna have to pick this up. So glad to add it to our collection. This next one is another series that we didn't have anything in our collection for, but it's one that we do like quite a lot. And that's Violet Evergarden. And this one is for the movie, but we did see a few different books and I know that there are more out there. And this is another one that I just really need to do my research and decide which ones I want to have in my collection and then make some orders. But I really loved the cover of this one. So this is the one that we decided to get in person. And we will likely pick up a few more books for Violet Evergarden in the future. A lot of text, but then a lot of illustrations, some panels from the movie. The beginning had character pages. So, really glad we found this. And for some of these series, I just 
getting these books just have prompted me to really want to do a rewatch of the series. So Violet Evergarden and then some of the other ones that I just showed the art books. We probably will be rewatching this winter. This next one is an art book that isn't based on an anime series, but just had an art style that we both thought was pretty cool. And the art book looked nice. It was this like silver reflective cover. But so we went ahead and got this as well. It kind of gave similar vibes to a lot of the video games that my husband plays. So we thought that it would fit right in with his collection of art books. And it was wrapped when we bought it, so we couldn't preview it more than just looking up the title online and seeing what we could find online. But I think this was a good purchase and I think we're gonna be happy with it. And then the next four art books are all gaming art books. So the first one is one that covers three game series that my husband really likes, Eco, Shadow of the Colossus, and The Last Guardian. And I'm pretty sure, I did flip through this, but now I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that this one does have art, but then also is kind of like a resource book as well. So. Just really cool. My husband was really excited when he saw this one in store because like I said, he likes the games, but also he didn't know this art book existed or this, I don't know, maybe guidebook. But pretty cool that it has the like kind of sketches and like concept art and just like with his sketches showing like some of the development process of the game, so, or the games, so. This was one that we were really excited about when we found it. This next one is for Final Fantasy 16, and it's actually a postcard book, but I wanted to share it with the art books because they're just super nice. Like I'm not gonna flip through all of it because the binding is really stiff, but just really pretty illustrations. And this is a game series that I'm not familiar with at all, but my husband is and this is just such a nice book. It's hardcover with a dust jacket and OB and just has really pretty art in it. Next is the game series Bloodborne Official Artworks. And I keep saying this because I'm going through all of my husband's stuff, but when we found this one, my husband was really excited about it because we were planning to order this one when we got back from Japan. But then because we found it, we just went ahead and got it. Sorry, I'm like really awkwardly trying to... I'm gonna flip through it backwards a little bit. But very cool. This game looks really creepy. I haven't really watched him play it, but it's one that he enjoys. So, there you have it, <laughs> Bloodborne. So this next one is the last one of my husband's and I'm not sure if it is an art book or if it's more of like a guidebook or even like a guide or a strategy book for playing the game, but it's from Monster Hunter Rise. This is one that we both like a lot. I just realized that I have not said it yet in this video, but I am not a gamer. All the video game series that we collect art books and prints for are games that my husband plays and I usually just am an avid 
watcher of <laughs> him playing video games. So Monster Hunter is one that he really enjoys and I like watching it. I really like the soundtrack, so. This one is super thick. And this is another one that he was planning on ordering. But because we found it, we just went ahead and bought it while we were on our trip. But this one has some pretty art pages. And then some big sections where it has, I don't know, info about the characters, kind of landscapes, and then a ton of pages about the different monsters. I don't know, I guess it doesn't really seem like a strategy guide, but. Definitely some kind of reference book. So. Glad that we found it. It was so exciting every time we unexpectedly found something new or just found something that we instantly knew that knew what it was and that we wanted it. Okay, getting into more of the art books. Some of these are guidebooks too, so, or fan books. So these first three are probably the three I was most excited about finding because they were art books that have been on my radar for quite a while. And the nice thing about most of these art books that I got is that they're art books for a mangaka. So rather than just only focusing on one series, it focuses on several of their works. So then has illustrations of a lot of different characters and a lot of different settings. But this first one, Darling, I'm really happy to get. It has such gorgeous illustrations. And I especially love the cover that it's all reflective. So I was really happy when this was one of the first art books that I found. This one too is another cover that I really like because it's all reflective. <laughs> but as I go through these, I'll put for each one the mangaka's name on the screen because for some of them I don't remember offhand and for some of them I just know that I'll mispronounce their name so I'd rather just not say it. <laughs> And I'm also not planning to flip through a lot of these because some of them do have some risque content. So I'll just share a few pages here and there. I absolutely love when there are little chibi pages. But this is the mangaka that did 10 count. And these are characters from Only the Flower Knows. But I like their art style. So I was really happy to find this one as well. Okay, and then this one, Cherish. And this is the mangaka that did Sayonara Game, Change World, Love Nest. Some of their series here on the back. And I also really like their art style. And they have some chibi pages too. <laughs> They're so cute. So I was glad to find this one. Next is the Given art book. I guess this is one that is more for the series than for the mangaka. 
But this one too has been on my radar for a while. So I was happy to find it. And then I actually got a bundle when I got this that had this second art book included with it. So I'll go through both of these a little. Oops, it has a little poster on the inside. And I do have more given merch that I picked up on my trip that I'll share in my merch haul video because I was able to go to the pop-up shop in Shinjuku while I was in Tokyo. So happy to have gotten this one. And then the second one, monochrome, monochrome side. So it has a pretty cool cover opens both the front and back side and it's the same illustration as the other art book and then the art in it is a bit different from the regular art book but it's on this like brown paper of course some of the pages are colored but this brown paper. And it is a little thinner than, than the other one, but I'm glad that I was able to get a copy that had both of them. Next is the art book for this mangaka who did the series Seaside Stranger. And this one is really nice, it's hardcover. But it is pretty small compared to the others, like it's pretty thin. But I felt like it was worth the price because of how nice of a book it was, it being hardcover. But then also, I'm glad I got it because the illustrations are really nice. And I just saw this week that this mangaka has another series, a one-shot that is going to be releasing soon in English. So got them represented now in my collection. And then next I got Ideal. So this is an art book that a friend has, and I think it has some spicy art in it. I don't know, I guess I'll share this page. I'm like flipping through trying to find something, a page that is okay to share, but I, like I said, I have seen a flip through video of this and I wanted to get it for mainly the content in the last like fifth of the book that has office wear and just like <laughs> booties and shoes and yeah so adding this one to my collection as well and this one too is a hardcover so it's a really nice book, like it's bound really well. Next, I got this art book from this mangaka. I did also on the trip pick up a few series by this mangaka and I did want to get the art book. I had seen a flip through on Instagram and I do really like this mangaka's art style and their character designs. So I picked it up. 
So I think all these characters are from YBC and about half of the book I think is YBC content of the characters. There are some risque pages so I'll just skip past the little beginning and then Then the second half has some of their other series. So just a really nice art book. And of course, just on my trip, every time I saw a new art book, I was like, ah, <laughs> it was so exciting to be able to just browse. And then next I got Candy, this art book by this mangaka who did the series Sasuke and Miyano. And I know they also did a spin-off series featuring some of the characters from that series, but I don't know if that's considered a different series, but this one mainly covers that series. So... I don't know if they have any other works that are featured in here. But this one too, I had seen some pictures and some flip throughs, so I just thought the art was really pretty. I just really like this kind of style. So. Had to get this one as well. And I think the rest of these, these last four are all fan books. So this first one here, Flow. Okay, this one says it's an anniversary book, 10th anniversary special fan book. So this is the mangaka that did Cast Heaven, and of course some other series. And then <laughs> there's a fold-out poster of ah, some of their different guys from their series. Okay, so I can't remember I flipped through this one earlier. I think it does have some risque content, so. Ah, it's so nice though. So the first half of the book has color illustrations, and then the second half has some like character profiles. And some bonus chapters it looks like in the last quarter of the book, but some of the art. I think this one is a one shot that just released recently. But this one too, I just really like their art style and the way that their characters look. remember if I showed this one already. Yep, so got this one as well. Oh, and the cover is really cool. The dust jacket is transparent and it's actually on the book cover, the colorful background. So I didn't realize that, but it's so cool.
a really cool and unique design choice. And then this one, Party Night. This one is also an anniversary fan book, 10th anniversary, ecstasy fan book. <laughs> but this one does have a lot of spicy content inside, so it has a lot of little bonus chapters and Japanese text with reference information about the series. I forgot it did come with this bromide print. These two guys on the cover. But there is a good like quarter of the book, like one quarter in, then there's a quarter of color illustrations. And I'm pretty sure it covers characters from all of their different series. So this was one that I was not super familiar with the Magica, but got all excited because it was an anniversary fan book. So wanted to pick it up. All right, and then also got, oh, this one too. 10th anniversary special fan book. So I guess special fan books are popular to do on 10th anniversaries, but this one too. It's by this mangaka who did Twittering Birds. And this one too, I wasn't sure if it was gonna have a lot of text because it was a fan book, but this one has about half of the book is color illustrations and then the rest of the book is text and bonus chapters so And I just flipped through it off screen for a second and saw some bonus chapters, some text pages, there's a Q&A, and then there, the very last section is character profiles. So I'll have to look these up and see how they're categorizing these guys. So. Adding this one to my collection. And next is Noble Colors by this mangaka, special book. I see a 10 right here on the cover, so maybe it's their 10 year anniversary as well. But this is the mangaka that did Blue Morning. And surprisingly, the first quarter of the book is color illustrations, but then the rest of the book is like bonus chapters. So I'm not sure if it's like new content that or original content that isn't in the manga or if it's even just from one series or if there are multiple series with characters featured in these chapters, but I'll flip through some of the art pages. So, 
I'm not sure. I'll have to ask a friend about this section here because I'm curious about it. But got this one. To add to all my fan books. So the rest of the video is going to be self-published fan books and Dijinshi. So I'm going to go through everything by series and just show the covers because they are fan-made products and a few of them said not to post their artwork on social media or just online. But I figured since all the covers are on online shops, it's okay to just show the covers that I picked up and I guess just say what series they're for. Also, there are quite a few that are 18 plus doujinshi, so not gonna <laughs> get into them. But first I'm gonna share some of the ones that my husband got and then I'll go through all the ones that I got. So first, I really like this Xenoblade Chronicles illustration book that he got. This is an artist who has done a few different books, but this one is just entirely an illustration book and it's really pretty. Next, this one also is entirely fan art. It's an illustration book, but featuring characters from Sword Art Online. I'm really glad we found this one as well because they're just such gorgeous illustrations that if they had been just selling each individual one as prints, we would have wanted to buy prints. So now we have them collected together in book form. Next are these two doujinshi that are for the game series Shadow of the Colossus. And honestly, these were complete blind buys because we bought all of this just at stores where each individual item is wrapped in plastic. So we would decide based on how the front and back covers looked. And I thought these wouldn't be any good, <laughs> but my husband wanted to get them because they were for Shadow of the Colossus. So we gave them a try and they do have really pretty art inside. These ones are stories though, so glad my husband found these ones. And then lastly, for my husband's books, we got quite a few from the series Near. But these are all based on the game series as well as anime. It does have an anime. So some of these are different books by the same artist. So we were able to just kind of choose based on how it looked inside the wrapped plastic and I'm glad we found so many that were cover buys but then we really liked the content inside too. Oof. And then this one was another illustration book and we thought this was going to be only near content because of the black box on the cover and back cover. But it did have a bit of near art inside as well as some art for other game series and original art by this artist. So this was still a good pickup. And then for mine, I got these three books for the anime series A3. And again, because these were cover buys, it's like, I just thought this was so cute. So I wanted to get it as well as this cover. And then this one has some romance, a ship between these two characters. Next was Jujutsu Kaisen. I got this Gojo and Nanami book. And 
this. <laughs> it says Jujutsu Kaisen unofficial fan book, and I just call it my Toji book because there's a lot of content about him in this one. This one was a little thicker, but I liked the cover illustration and I thought it was worth the risk because I didn't know how <laughs> this book was gonna be, but it was pretty cool. It has art following different characters, so. And this last one is a spicy 18 plus one, anatomy. Next for Haikyuu. So I got a couple books featuring Omi and Atsumu. They're both 18 plus. This one was so gorgeous. It looked like a magazine cover, but I loved this little illustration on the back. And so I was really surprised when I got it. And it came with a little print of that back cover illustration. So, got this one. And then I also got, I was torn between getting some single doujinshi by this artist versus getting their anthologies. So, I ended up getting two of their anthologies, which each have Let's see, this one has seven of their doujinshi, and then this one has 10. So this one here, and they're both predominantly featuring Oikawa and Iwaizumi. But then there's another ship that have <laughs> some content in it as well, but... They both just are super stylish, so one of the things that's cool about them that I did ask a friend before I decided for sure about these because she already owned them. So what was cool about these is that this one had a little box that it came in and the actual book has the stories in it, the doujinshi all of them compiled in black and white, and then a separate booklet that had all of the illustrations, not illustrations, all of the cover illustrations for the individual single doujinshi, which I thought was really cool. So that way, getting the anthology, I wouldn't be missing out on those color illustrations. And all of the covers are featured here in frames, which I thought was really a cool design. So this one, and then this other one, it didn't come with a booklet, but it has color pages. So the dividing page between each individual doujinshi has the color illustration or the color cover from the singles. So that was the main reason why I was considering getting singles instead of these anthologies, but I'm glad I went with these and didn't have to miss out on those color cover pages. And they do have two more anthologies, but these were the two that I was more interested in with the stories that I knew that I liked. And then the fourth one is content following a different ship. So these are the ones that I wanted. Next, I got two books from the series Free and I couldn't believe how cheap these were, but they're both really sweet. They follow Reen and Haru. I thought it was going to be mostly about their childhood, but both of them are following them when they're older, but then throughout they have flashbacks to events from their childhood, so I'm glad I was able to get these, and they're both by the same artist, so glad I found these. All these next ones are from the series Yuri on Ice, and... Just like all the rest of them, these were all cover buys based on the cover illustrations. But I was really happy when I opened them up that this one is an illustration book. So it's just full of color illustrations, fan art, 
And just like the others, I would have wanted to buy some of these if they were available as prints. So I'm glad I was able to find it in book form and get a copy of it. This one, I just thought the cover was gorgeous. And then come to find out, it says nine and final. And that's because this is the final installment of nine. So I have since been doing research about finding those first eight books so that I can have this as a completed collection. I did check and I didn't see that this one had an anthology for the nine books, but I did see all the cover illustrations and they're just all so gorgeous. But got this one in person and gonna have some more of them on the way. These three are all by the same artist and I just really liked how the covers looked, so I got them. And these ones as well, as I was doing research, I found out that there are quite a few more by this artist and I do really like their art style, so I have picked up a few more of their books and one of their anthologies too, so I'm really curious to see how their anthology is put together, if they have color pages for the cover illustrations or not. So we'll see when I get those later in the mail. But I did just really like the art for this one and inside too. I bought them for the covers, but then these ones I did like the art as well. And then this last one. And lastly, all of the rest of these are from One Piece. And it's probably no surprise, I really, really like Sanji. So I got quite a few Sanji-centric Dajinchi, but I did get one book that <laughs> does not have Sanji in it. And it's this anthology fan book that is all about Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. So all I saw, because this was wrapped, was just this collage of images on the front, the fact that it was an ASL fan book, and then the illustrations on the back, as well as this list of names, I assume the contributors. And it made me think that this is like really similar to a lot of the fanzines that I've been getting or trying to get or just trying to keep an eye on. So I thought it would be so cool to get a Japanese one and especially after looking at the illustrations and just seeing each one of them being slightly a different style, but I just loved all of them. So I wasn't really sure what it would contain and it's kind of thick, but it did look like manga paper. So I got it and I was so surprised and happy to find the first like 10 pages had color illustrations, like just like the rest. If they were prints, I would have wanted to buy them. So I'm so glad to have gotten this book with those color illustrations and then just so many different stories, just like, I guess just like any anthology, just every chapter is written by a different artist and it just is on the theme of Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. So really, really happy to have this. This is gonna be such a special part of my collection now. And then most of the rest of these Sanji Doujinshi are Zosan ship stuff, but these first two are actually La Sanji Doujinshi, so all about him. This is what my husband found, and I'm so glad he did because it's so gorgeous. Another thing that I'm just really happy about with buying all of these is all the ones with art styles that I like, and it's like all of them because I bought based on the art on the covers. I've been able to find new artists that I can follow on Twitter and just discover all this new gorgeous art. So there's this one. And this one's kind of interesting because it's not like a manga. It's, there is a very brief story in here, but it has a lot of big illustrations without text. And then at the end, there's a little, not glossary, but kind of a guide just to like walk you through a sensory journey through the different pages of this fan book. So this was a really interesting one compared to all of the rest. So this one, and then 
This is another Sanji Law one. And it's kind of just showing like, <laughs> this is all I could see when I bought it. I didn't know who the artist was, so I couldn't look them up on Twitter to see what their art style was like, but I just saw that the cover was a little reflective and I liked the way Sanji looked, so. Also, some of these were pretty cheap, so I just thought if I liked the illustration enough and imagined I was just buying like a print and then if the story inside was good and the art inside was good, then that was an extra plus. But it was really exciting every time we got home from a little shopping trip to open them and see if the contents was as good as the cover that we chose it for. And then these four books are all by the same artist. And these are my favorite ones of all of the One Piece ones that I got. So I just really love the way that they drew Sanji. And each of these are a little thicker than the other, so they really had like full stories in here. And just like some of the others, I have since looked up the artist and the circle and tried to find some more of their works so that I can enjoy them as well, just because they're so cute. So these ones were my favorites of my Sanji pickups. I got a few by this circle or by this artist and I'm keeping this one and not gonna keep the others that I got from them. This was another one that had the back cover illustration as a print inside, which I thought was cool and the story was very cute. But like I said, because these were all blind buys that I chose based on the covers, there are some that I didn't like, some that I just thought were okay, but I'm gonna see if I can pass them along to some of my friends who would enjoy them more than me just because I was able to pick up other ones that I just really liked. And this one looks so nice from the cover. And I'm in it for Sanji, but I thought Zora looked super nice on this cover. And these next two were by the same artist. This one's really cute. It's about Zoro getting his hair cut and then Sanji's mad because he's the hairdresser and he didn't wait for him to let him cut it. So then after it grows out, then he gets to cut it the next time. It sounds really simple, but it was really cute. I feel like I'm just saying this over and over, but <laughs> this is another one that I liked. It was cute. I did notice that a lot of the Sanji ones that I found at the stores were all ages, but this was one of the 18 plus ones that I found that I did like the cover, but then also liked the art and content inside. And then these last two are probably gonna be extra special to me because they were done by a mangaka that I actually am familiar with their art. So they have a different name that they use for their doujinshi but then they must really love <laughs> Zoro and Sanji because they have quite a lot of books that feature art and stories about them. But both of these were by the mangaka of Candy Color Paradox. And I could tell right away from the art style on this cover that I had seen characters really similar to this before and that's where I had seen it before but I just got these two from them. They're another one that had quite a lot on the shelf that I actually remembered their name afterward because I had seen it so much on the different books. So this is another one that I have since gone and found some more of the artist books. They do have a few anthologies, so I am trying to do some research to see what all is included in those anthologies and to try to get my hands on some more of their stuff because 
I do like their style for Sanji and Zoro and they're just really cute. So this is all the art books, guidebooks, fan books, doujinshi, just all of these that I picked up and some of the ones my husband got as well. I'm really excited that I got into the world of doujinshi, but I can already tell it's going to be a very slippery slope as I have already placed another order for more and, and I'm on the lookout for more <laughs> after those. So really happy with everything I was able to find and... This was probably the most thrilling part of my shopping experience in Japan because so many manga art books that I already own, it's because I knew about them or I found out about them and ordered them specifically. But it was so exciting to be in the different bookstores, anime, manzarake, and just to be able to browse and see what they had in stock and Going into my first Kino Kunia, my first anime, it was just so thrilling. And then also rifling through all of the hundreds and hundreds of doujinshi that just were thin books, just each wrapped in plastic, trying to sort through and find what I was looking for. So really happy I found all of these and got them. I'll never forget my experiences going through all the doujinshi and just the thrill of finding one that... I thought I would like. Like I said, there were some that after I opened them, I was not crazy about the art style inside or the content. So I didn't share those ones in this video because those are ones that I'm not gonna keep in my collection. So hope you enjoyed watching as I went through all of this stuff. And like I said at the beginning, the next couple of videos are gonna be my haul and experience at the Kimini Tadoke art exhibition my haul of all the merch that I got in Japan, and then my haul of all the manga that I bought. And I already have a feeling that every one of these videos is gonna be super long, so thank you if you made it to the end of this video, and I hope you will enjoy more long and chatty content to come in the coming weeks. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.